Hello everyone, how are you all today? I hope you're doing well. Um, uh, it is a gloriously sunny Sunday here in the UK. Um, actually one of the hottest we've had this year, but 28 degrees C. Um, and it's quite hot in this art room. Um, so I haven't been spending a great deal of time here. I uh, have been out with the family, picnicking and doing all sorts of lovely things. Um, but I thought I'd, I'd pop in and um, have a quick play. And I had these leftover little squares from another project. Um, and I just pulled some out and I pulled out a few images and words and a little bit of scrap fabrics ready. Um, and I thought I'd have a go at making a little mini um, accordion book or a little mini book of some kind um, with these. So I'm just using a bit of um, Distress ink to just ink up the edges just to give them a bit of a nicer finish. And um, just kind of working out what order I want them in and um, what images I want on them, how they're going to work, how they're going to fold up, and things like that. And these images are from one of the. I found a huge stash of um, film review books from the 1950s. Um, at a local car boot sale um, I managed to get uh, 20 of these books <clears throat> they're absolutely amazing have these fantastic images all black and white images of film stars in and um, so these are just uh, four little images taken from one of them and because these squares already had um, like backgrounds on it's quite straightforward just to choose which one uh, went with which and then just took them down with the with a glue stick and um, just sticking on some found words um, I have loads that I just sort of pull out from an old book um, like this and just have them in a, in a little pile so I'm just randomly going through them and um, picking out ones which I think will work with the images I think I found some for the two men, um, but then struggled to find words that I liked for the for the two women there. So I went back and tried to find a few more from some other pages. There we go. So I'm just having a quick look at some other bits and bobs just to see what I can find. hope you're all having a lovely weekend wherever you are um, here we go so just about done with the words and I'll I think I show you each little what is each little square just so you can see what they they are so there is always one such man I love that image of him that man there laughing Comprehending eyes. Makes her own possibilities. And he has never seen the world. He had never seen the world. So I'm really pleased with how they're looking and how they turned out. I love the, the, uh, the black and white images on top of the colourful backgrounds. Um, and then I was trying to figure out a way to, to get them into a you know, together to a little book and I've, I've been really enjoying sewing elements together at the moment. Um, I've been doing this in quite a lot of my journal pages. So this is just a bit of crochet thread and I'm, I'm loosely sewing them all up so that they still have some movement. And this is just a crochet thread that I'm using for this. And so obviously I've sped this up quite a bit because you don't want to watch me. Um, sitting there sewing and this actually did take me quite a bit of time just to just to sew them all together. I'm I'm not uh, I love sewing in my journals but I'm not much of a seamstress. So um, I was also getting a bit tied up and getting knots in it and um, and all sorts so it took me longer than it should have done.
in there. You can hear the ice cream van down the road. So I apologise if, if it's suddenly um, I have my children running in going, Mum, Mum, Mum! We want an ice cream if it's done, if it if it falls down the road, <laughs> falls down the road. It is incredibly hot today, so um, I'm not surprised it's out and about. I'm probably um, doing a roaring trade, I imagine. Yesterday we were off um, out into the Peak District where where I live, and um, the girls spent probably a good three or four hours in the river just trying to stay cool um, it's we're not used to this sort of heat normally over here in the uk there we go so just tying that off there we go and then i'll show you how that's all going to fold up just like that's a little sort of accordion fold and then I wanted to use some of this scrap fabric that I pulled out to make a little cover front of that cover I mean these is all bits and bobs that I have um, either eco dyed or coffee dyed um, and I just love how um, it makes the fabric look aged and I love uh, just using this kind of it has it's just such a story to tell um, bits of fabric just um, yeah love using it so yeah I'm just cutting or ripping or cutting and ripping um, two little squares that will fit on the front and back and then just adding some other little extra bits just to add some interest on there There is something about fabric that's just, um, that takes me back to my childhood, I guess. And, and you have sort of associations, don't you, with fabric? There we go. I've, I've, so I whizzed that round on the sewing machine on the front and back. Yeah, and then it opens out. Yeah, I mean, you have associations with fabric, like uh, remembering certain clothes that you wore or I, mean, I had a comfort blanket, that sort of thing. So, um, it has stories to tell. So, I realised that the fabric had actually made, um, quite by chance, made a little pocket at the front there. And I had this other little um, smaller square left over, which just fit perfectly. So, I inked up the edges, popped it in there, and then I'm just adding a few more of my little words. Um, which I'm just going to quickly stick on there again just with a glue stick and that fits really just nice little, little pocket I love how that turned out and, um, and it says I think I believe I hold it up but no matter. Just sitting in that pocket. And there we have it. That's my little mini book. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, take care. See you soon. Bye.